हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू कॉल क्लासेस इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डन केमिस्ट्री जीरो फोर एंड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम वन टू फाइव इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स द क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज डिराइव द इक्वेशन फॉर वर्क ऑफ एक्सपेंशन फॉर आइसोथर्मल रिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस सो सपोज एनी गैस एनक्लोज इन सिलेंडर फिक्स फिटेड विद एयर टाइट पिस्टन विद एरिया ए assume that the pressure of gas p and external pressure is known as p with ext means external pressure it is slightly less than the gas pressure then the force is given by pressure into area this is equation number 1 during expansion the piston moves through distance dx small distance known as dx small amount of work done then would be dw it is given by the system is Equal to d w is equal to force into distance, which is equal to force value from equation number one and d x. This is equation number two. But a into d x is the volume. It is d v. So we can replace a d x by d v. It is work done on the system. And equation number three is shows that gas expands expand against a constant external pressure. There is considerable difference between gas pressure inside the cylinder. The temperature does not change during the process. So, assume the initial and final volume V one and V two. Then work done is equals to the integration of the total small amount of work done integration from V one to V two. So we are left with dV. dV means upper limit minus lower limit, and we are left with the equation. W is equals to minus two point three naught three and R T log V one upon V two. This is our answer. So next question, question number seven. Define it is a numerical. Uh, the numerical is define the enthalpy of conversion and calculate enthalpy of conversion by methanol. The enthalpy values are given here. So first we have to do definition of enthalpy of conversion. The change in enthalpy during complete conversion of one mole of substance in the presence of oxygen. This is called enthalpy of conversion. For example, enthalpy of conversion for methanol and urea are given by methanol for the methanol 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 plus in the presence of air gives carbon dioxide and uh, water, and the conversion enthalpy is equals to minus seven twenty six point one kilojoule per mole. And for urea, it also gives carbon dioxide, water, as well as nitrogen gas with the uh, large amount of uh, conversion energy. The numerical is conversion of reaction of methanol is given by the reaction is here, but we have value given in the numer numerical is carbon dioxide for water for methanol, and there is no value about. oxygen but we know well that for oxygen there is enthalpy is equals to 0 so we have to do uh, the enthalpy of product minus enthalpy of uh, reactants i doesn't uh, write here uh, enthalpy of uh, oxygen because it is 0 so by plus minus we are left with this answer and this is the enthalpy of conversion of methanol Uh, which is equals to minus seven twenty six point one kilojoule per mole. Next question number eight. Draw and explain steps involved in Carnot cycle. So there are four steps involved in Carnot cycle. The first step is isothermal expansion. Initially, gas has some pressure which is equals to P one and volume also V one. The cylinder is placed on a heat source maintained at temperature T H. The gas is isothermally and reversibly expanded to volume V two and pressure P two. So the total work done W one is equals to minus Q H is equals to R T H log V one upon V two. So by adjusting minus sign, uh, the value is obtained, which is the first equation. The equation now step two adiabatic expansion. The cylinder is now placed on a thermally insulated stand. And gas is adiabatically and reversibly expanded till the temperature, uh, sorry, till pressure P three and volume V three, with temperature T C. During this period, no heat is absorbed by the system because it is adiabatic. The work done on the gas W two is equals to C V T C minus T H. This is equation number two here. 
Isothermal compression. This is the third step. The gas uh, cylinder is now placed on so uh, sink, not at source. At temperature Tc and gases isothermally and reversibly compressed to volume V4 and pressure P4. Now the work done DW3 is equals to minus QC RTC log uh, 3 V3 upon V4 by adjusting negative sign we are left with value which is equation number 3. Now so step 4 adiabatic compression. The cylinder is again placed on the insulating stand and gas is adiabatically and reversibly until it reaches its initial state of volume V1 and pressure P1. Now work which is equals to W4 is given by CVTH minus DC. This is equation number 4. Now the total work done is equals to W which is equal to the sum of individual work, uh, work done. Put the value of equation number 1, 2, 3 and 4 in above equation we are left with this value by adjusting the whole equation rewrite we can rewrite this equation by uh, W is equal to RTH log V1 upon V3 plus RTC uh, log V3 upon V4. Now this is the total work done in the whole Carnot cycle. So now the next question. Discuss the dependence of chemical potential on temperature and pressure the answer is we are starting with gibbs free energy which is equal to vdp minus entropy sgt this is equation number one now by partial differentiation we this is the equation for entropy which is equal to equation number two the chemical potential of this component I is given by mu I is equals to partial differentiation of Gibbs energy at constant temperature, pressure and, and J which uh, in which J is equals to all components but not I. Differentiating the above equation, equation number 3 at constant pressure and composition we are left with this value since G is stable function. Now we can write this equation above equation by uh, the dif partial differentiation of entropy and we also uh, place the negative sign outside and we are uh, left with the minus SI bar. So this is equation number 5 and SI bar is known as partial molar entropy. Differentiation mu i from equation number 3 we are left with the uh, equation by double differentiation of the Gibbs energy with respect to pressure and Ni. So it is known that known that uh, partial uh, differentiation of G Gibbs energy with respect to pressure at constant temperature is equal to the its volume of the gas component. So here the equation final equation in which the pressure as well as temperature depends. So this is the question number nine. Now next question. 10th, write the characteristics of ideal and non-ideal solution with one example of each. Now, what is ideal solution? A solution which obeys Rolle's law at all concentration and temperature value is known as ideal solution. For example, two liquids A and B, they are mixed to form an ideal solution only on if the the molecules of A and B have similar structure and polarity only then the uh, A liquid and B liquid can be mixed and other condition is if the intermolecular attraction between A A B B liquid and A B it means inter and intramolecular attraction should be there alike. Characteristics is uh, it should be Rolle's law change in enthalpy on mixing should be zero and the change in volume on mixing should also be zero. Example is ethylene bromide and ethylene chloride. Other example is n-hexane and heptane, benzene and toluene. What is non-ideal? Obviously, which does not obey Rolle's law. They either show positive or negative deviation. For this ideal solution, partial pressure. So pressure is equals not equal to the its pure component and for other liquid also the total pressure is doesn't equal to its pure component. 
the component of a non ideal solution are mixed and then what happened change in volume and enthalpy is noticed characteristics is almost altered to the ideal solution uh, the solution does not obey uh, rolls law uh, the mixing enthalpy on uh, mixing does not equal to zero and volume is also on mixing does not equal to zero an example positive deviation and negative deviation separately water ethanol uh, water and with all acid so uh, we have done question 10 questions for chemistry 04 uh, if you like this video please share like and subscribe my channel core classes and write the comments in the comment box also uh, thank you